So before we get into the demo of the tool that we've built uh, using Google's Image Recognition API, I'd just like to take you through uh, what Google's Image Recognition API is all about. So firstly, to gain access to Google's uh, Vision API, uh, you need to sign up for a Google Cloud account. Uh, and you get $300 uh, dollars worth of free credit that you can use for a period of 12 months uh, to try out all the various uh, features and projects that are available through Google's cloud platform. One of them is Google's Image Recognition API that we're going to test out uh, and demo for you today. So what is Google's Image Recognition API all about? It's, it's a powerful image analysis tool that you can use to analyze images for various types of content that's available. Uh, you can use it for face detection, logo detection, to also detect text uh, within an image. Uh, this could be very relevant to some of our uh, web designers and web pros who've tuned in uh, in case you want to decode uh, an image uh, for uh, that kind of text that is in it or in case an invoice is uploaded as, an, as a PDF or an image file and you want to uh, detect the invoice ID on that particular image, you can use this API. Uh, also, in case you want to filter out adult images on your website, you can use this API. It will help you detect adult content on your website as well or in the images that are available on your website. So as I said, yeah, it helps you uh, gain insight from your images, detect inappropriate content, extract text from within an image. Uh, and here are some of the features that Google's Vision API offers to you. Uh, it helps you detect faces, label detection, explicit content detection, logo detection, landmark detection. So for example, if I upload an image of, of say the Taj Mahal, uh, it will uh, detect that it's a landmark and also provide me the name of that landmark uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, we also have uh, a, a documentation that's available that Google has provided to us that's, that's very accurate and very helpful. We have a quick start guide, the various APIs and references that are available. We'll go through the client libraries that are available. Uh, you have client libraries for all the various languages uh, that you could code this API in. So uh, we have C Sharp, PHP, Python, Ruby, a, a host of other languages as well, uh, and applications. Uh, then Google has also provided us with some samples that we can use, some face detection samples, logo detection samples, text detection samples, landmark detection samples, etc. For our purpose, we are going to look at the face detection sample. Uh, and I'm just going to show you how easy it is to use this. Uh, we've all, or, or at least most of us, uh, may have already uh, used the HTTP API that Orderbox offers. Uh, Google's Vision API is on similar grounds, where it makes use uh, of a similar protocol, the REST API. Uh, and you can fire in a simple uh, HTTPS, you, uh, the API using a simple HTTPS URL, uh, and uh, it, it analyzes the image that you provided as a parameter. So uh, as you can see, it's a simple post command that's sent uh, to Google server. Uh, you also need to give in your JSON request that will contain the URL to the image you want Google to analyze. And you also need to specify the type of feature that you're looking for. Do you want to detect any logos in the image? Do you want to detect a particular landmark in the image? Or you want to use simple face detection? So we are going to use the example for face detection. Uh, and we are going to reference a remote image. So that's what we are going to look at. Uh, and uh, yeah, so Google has provided you uh, with a ready example and sample that's available online. You can look at it. But I'll take you through this as a demo uh, so you get a better understanding. I'll also take you through the image that I'm going to provide as a parameter. So this is an image of a family. There's a father, mother, and a toddler. Google's going to analyze this image for us and also provide us insights into what they think the image is about. Uh, so let's get on uh, into this uh, demo uh, where I show you how the API works. I'm going to be running this on an SSH terminal. Uh, you can use this. Uh, on any uh, third party tools that are available also like Postman. I'm going to be running this on my SSH terminal uh, directly uh, using a curl command and I'll, I'll decode the curl command for you so you are able to understand. Let's get on into this now. So firstly, as I said, uh, we need to have our JSON request ready uh, with the kind of content that we want Google to analyze. So I've already prepared a file that contains my JSON request. So here's our file. 
it contains our requests that we're going to send to Google server. I've also given in the link to the image that I showed you a little earlier. And I'm telling Google that I want to detect faces in this particular image. Uh, and I want insights. When I say web detection, I want insights into that particular image. Uh, like uh, what what is uh, the kind of emotion that's on the faces of the people in the uh, on the image. So I, I'll just show that to you once I, I run the curl command so you get a better understanding. Yeah, so this is uh, the file uh, that I've already prepared containing my JSON request. And this is my curl command that I'm going to run. So it's a simple curl command where I'm 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 going to fire uh, a, a JSON request to Google server. Uh, I've provided the URL, the the API URL that needs to be passed. I'm also putting in my key. That's my secure key to my Google Cloud account. And I am also mentioning the file name where I've put in my JSON request. So as I said earlier that you need to sign up with uh, Google on their Google Cloud platform uh, and you get access to uh, to their entire array of projects and offerings that they have. Uh, so you, you can sign up using your Gmail account and uh, you get $300 of free credit that you can utilize. And, and just like how we have on the HTTP API that Autobox offers, uh, you need uh, some authentication to connect to your account. So they offer an API key too that you need to use to authenticate yourself with your account and, and then you can use their APIs. So here I'm passing a simple curl command uh, and a JSON request to Google. I, I'm also putting in the URL where this needs to be fired at and I'm putting in my authentication. That's my API key. And when I run this, let's see what Google analyzes and sends to us. So Google has analyzed the image and we had told Google to tell us uh, if there are any faces in the image. Uh, and as you can see, Google has analyzed the image, uh, provided us with exact landmarks of which pixel the left eye is located on, uh, on the X, Y and Z axis. Also the right eye, what is the pixel positions of that so we can map it out on the image. It also tells us what, where the left eyebrow is, where the right eyebrow is, uh, and all of those features that are distinctive of a human face. Um, and it provides us with the exact coordinates of the pixels on the X, Y, and Z axis. And, and if you scroll down, as I said, it will also analyze the image for the emotions. If you see, uh, it says joy likelihood, very likely. So if you've seen the image that I'd shown you earlier, the entire family was smiling, the parents and the toddler as well. Then you have sorrow likelihood, very unlikely. So it's analyzed the image and it's telling you the kind of emotions that are on the people's faces there too. Uh, and as I said, it will also analyze something else. It, in the web detection, it will also give you uh, a description of what image or, or what Google thinks that image contains. So according to Google, it contains a family. Uh, and also a child. So as you can see, Google has very accurate, accurately analyzed that image uh, and also told us what Im emotions are, uh, are on the people's faces in that image. And moving on, it also provides us with alternative images. So if you can see full matching images. So if I run this URL, it will be a URL to an image that's exactly the same as the one that I showed you. So if you see, this is exactly the same URL. So Google has told you that full matching images, this is another URL that contains the same image. There's another URL that contains the same image. Then it has partially matching images. So Google provides you with a host of solutions that you can use for your business. Google's image recognition API is one of them. And as I showed you, it's, it's so easy to use just like our HTTP API in Autobox. Uh, and you just need to fi fire a simple post API calls uh, to Google with the image as a parameter and it analyzes the image and there are various uh, options that you can use like face detection which we've just done, logo detection, text detection, etc. And uh, let's let's move on into the tool that uh, we've built uh, that you can use uh, 
uh, that we've used Google Vision API on. Uh, let's let's move on into that.